I consider it a privilege to make the statement at the sixth World Telecommunication and ICT Policy Forum, where would I want where I would want to focus on the key aspect of mobilizing new solutions for connectivity, which is key in unlocking and realizing the ITU Connect 2030 agenda goals. With the advent of the Black Swan event in terms of the COVID-19 pandemic, for the realization of the need for universal connectivity as the most critical infrastructure element in enabling the public with ICT solutions has been reaffirmed. Sri Lanka, as an example, has initiated its own Universal Service Obligation Fund project, Connect Sri Lanka, with the bold ambition of enabling Sri Lanka with 100% broadband connectivity across the country, inclusive of all rural and remote areas, as well as connecting all state schools with fiber connectivity by 2023. However, the rapidly depleting USO funds would potentially be an impediment and would require a new policy discussion on new avenues of revenue generation for the universal obligation funds of the future. In terms of prioritizing digital inclusivity, affordability is yet another significant aspect that needs long-term focus and policy considerations where in tandem with the improvement for accessibility through connectivity infrastructure development, affordable broadband services should be encouraged for achieving an impactful holistic digital inclusivity that would enable to reduce the existing digital di divide that is having a negative impact on many demographics. For example, students lacking access to connectivity and affordable internet restricting education, which is a mandatory human right. Sri Lanka today has made a paradigm step by making accessibility free of charge of data costs for all e-learning platforms of state schools, schools and universities and achieving rankings on the top 20 for most affordable broadband services based on the latest ITU benchmarking report. With the new normal creating, created through the pandemic, rapid adaptation and creation of digital economies, moving ahead from a traditional approach is going to define the future growth trajectory of countries, affecting the quality of lives of citizens in turn. Sri Lanka's own digital economy strategy is based on key aspects of enabling the tech services industry, enablement and empowerment of the local startup ecosystem, technology diffusion across non-tech industries, and capacity building to sustain the thrust of digital transformation, which again would be critically dependent on how well we succeed in enabling universal connectivity. In terms of accessibility, it is equally imperative for us to consider device enablement that would enable citizens to reap the digital dividends. Today, accessibility to mobile devices has become yet another impediment that must be taken into purview alongside connectivity enablement, especially for the student demographic. In terms of creating future digital economies, the device enablement would be key in the adoption of ICT solutions in tandem with focus on enhancing digital literacy. And only then will we be able to create a truly inclusive model of enabling digital economies. It is also time for a time in terms of policy considerations to consider new paradigms of technology concepts such as non-geostationary orbit or NGSO systems in accelerating the future of connectivity. Key aspects of future regulatory landscape changes required for enabling such services would have to be prioritized, ensuring a conducive long-term and equitable environment for new challenges by ensuring the recalibration of existing licensing frameworks. In conclusion, I believe that a whole of government approach has to be set in place in achieving digital inclusivity, as well as accessibility to connectivity, which would ensure that the current digital divide that exists globally will, will be improved to acceptable levels, thus ensuring the adoption of ICT services on an equitable note universally. Continuous policy realignment and introduction of policy frameworks will indeed be a catalyst for embracing new technology on a sustainable long-term approach, which is certain to ensure that we achieve the Connect 2030 ITU agenda goals across all countries. Thank you.